Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A channel is a grayscale image used to store information about your image file. You can see the channels for a selected image in the Channels panel. You can access this panel by selecting Window and then Channels from the menu bar if it isn't already visible. You can basically break down channels into three distinct types. The first type are color information channels, which are created automatically when you open a new image file. The color mode used by the image determines the number of color channels. For example, in an RGB color mode, you have four color information channels. You have one for each color, red, blue, and green, and one composite channel used for image editing. You can also create what are called alpha channels. We'll be looking at those shortly. To create grayscale masks that allow you to isolate, select, or protect specific parts of an image. You can also create spot channels, which allow you to specify additional plates for use with printing in spot color inks. Your image file can have up to 24 channels. The TIFF and PSD, or Photoshop document, formats allow you to compress the channels and save space on your computer. As long as you save a file in a format that supports the image's color mode, the color channels will be preserved. Alpha channels are only saved when you save using either the Photoshop, again PSD, format, PDF, PICT, Pixar, TIFF, or RAW formats. Using the DCS 2.0 format only preserves spot channels. Saving in other file formats may cause you to lose some channel information. We can use the Channels panel to create and manage our channels. You'll see any channels created here, with the composite channel listed first, like we see over here, RGB, then the individual color channels following that, spot color channels, and finally any alpha channels that you've created. The eye icon at the left end of each channel's thumbnail can be clicked to hide or show that channel. In alpha channels, selected pixels appear as white, unselected pixels appear black, and semi-transparent pixels appear as gray. However, if you display an alpha channel at the same time that you display the color channels, the alpha channel will appear as a color overlay, like a rubolith in printing. You do have control over the color of this overlay if you need to change it. You can use the painting and editing tools that are provided in Photoshop to edit this grayscale channels themselves when selected in the Channels panel. Remember that when you paint the color white on the channel, that will add the color of the channel at 100% intensity. Painting in black fully removes that color from the black areas in the channel. Painting with shades of gray allows various amounts of semi-transparency. When you want to delete a channel, it's just like deleting a layer. You can click and drag the channel on top of the small trash can icon at the bottom of the channels panel to delete the selected channel. So for example, you could come down here and select just blue if you wanted to and click and then just drag it right onto there. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.